Hi friends, welcome back to Laravel A tutorial. In this video, we will learn about Laravel pagination. When we have huge number of records, suppose in student table there is thousand of students and if we want to see all these records at same time in a single page, it will take a much loading time and for huge record, it will become impossible to show all records in a single page that time we will use pagination basically pagination splits records into multiple pages so let's see how we will use pagination in laravel suppose there is a laravel a database and here i can see this is the student table so now the student table is empty so i need to add multiple records in this table to show data pagination wise so let's insert some data into this table laravel provides faker to insert test data very easy and simple way so here we will use faker to insert data so here we can see inside our project directory we have a database folder and inside the database folder we have a seeders folder so inside the seeder we can see database seeder.php so this is the database seeder class and if you run this seeder by default it will call this public function run method so we will use faker in this method to use faker we need to use faker factory as faker and inside the run method we will use the faker class so inside the run method i am creating a variable and i am using faker create function so now i want to insert suppose 200 of data inside the students table so we need to first execute the loop so i will create a loop suppose for each i'm providing the range that is one to suppose 200 and i'm providing that is index so now i want to use the db to insert data so here i'm using the db and my table name is so here my table name that is students table and I want to insert some data into the student table so I need to use the insert method and inside the insert method I will use the array for name and email so I am providing the name suppose I want to use the name as faker name and I am providing the email suppose email as the faker email I will insert name and email in the students table so here I can see I am using the DB so we need to use the DB here now if we run the seeder it will insert the 200 of data into the student table so let's run the seeder so to run the seeder we need to use PHP artisan DB seed enter this so here we can see database seeding completed successfully now if we refresh our student table we can see there is 200 records and we are getting the records so all are created with the faker class so now i need to create a function and we need to see this record from this function so here i can see this is the student controller so here i will create public function student list and i will use this model inside this function to get the records so here i am creating a variable suppose students and i am using the student model and i am using the get method to fetch all records and here I will create a view that is suppose pagination 
and passing the student variable with the compact method so i need to create the pagination blade so here i will need to use so in this view i am creating a new file and my view name is pagination dot blade dot php so i am using the html element so here i can use in title that is suppose student list and in body i need to create the table to display all records so here we just use the table and close this and after that we will use the tier and inside the tier we will use the header that is th so here i will write suppose id and i'll copy it so i will display the name here and the email so i will display all records using the for each loop so we need to use the for each and i'm ending the for each so here my variable name is students so i am using the student variable inside the for each so dollar for each so dollar student as student and inside the tier i will use td to print my record so here i will use student id and in the same way i will print student name and student email so let's create the routes for student list so inside the routes folder web.php so i am creating routes for that so route get and my url suppose students list and i need to provide the class name that is student controller and after that class and i need to provide the function name here and i am providing the name that is student list so the route is set so if you click on the student list we will call the student controller and we will get the output oh, sorry here we need to use the return so it will get the output so just paste the student list url here and you can see there is lots of output there are all the 200 records we are getting in the same page basically these records are coming from student table so now i will use the pagination to split this so it is very simple to use pagination here i will provide the paginate method we need to use the paginate method suppose in my page i am to display suppose 10 records at a time so we can use this paginate function and we need to provide the 10 within this paginate function and very simple we need to use the links here so here is my array variable so we need to use students links so if we run this we will get the output that is we can see there is the pagination comings it is showing 1 to 10 so if you click on next it is showing 1 11 to 12 if you ne click next it will show 21 to 30 so in this way we can use the pagination laravel and if you want to change the value of display record so if we use the 20 here we will get the 20 records at a time so here you can see the result is 41 to 60 so if you click on previous we will get 21 to 40 that means in in every page it is getting 20 records 
so this is the all about laravel pagination please comment if you have any queries and subscribe this channel for upcoming videos next day i will discuss about laravel eloquent thanks for watching this video bye bye